like, I don't want harm to come to anybody, you know what I'm saying, regardless of, like, who it is. Political tension seeping onto the field tonight as a local high school decides to cancel Friday night football, all because of a dispute over a Donald Trump Make America Great Again hat. The tension started after a student was suspended for swiping the hat off a fellow student's head. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. Tonight, Union Mine School officials are telling us they decided to cancel the game for safety reasons. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in El Dorado County now with the details for us. Macy? Well, Christina and Tony, this was supposed to be a matchup between Union Mine High School and Douglas High School, but the sheriff's office says a planned protest led school officials to cancel the game. A classroom altercation over a Make America Great Again hat continues to escalate, and Friday night football got caught in the crossfire. After school ended, the announcement went off saying that the game's been canceled. School officials at Union Mine and Douglas High say they had safety concerns. According to El Dorado County Sheriff's Office, threats of protest increased throughout the week, with rumor that some expressed the desire to incite violence, including bringing firearms to the school. Well, I hope like everybody's going to be okay. The decision comes four days after 17. Year old Joanne Butler grabbed the hat featuring Trump's campaign slogan off of a fellow student's head. Cell phone video shows the teacher trying to subdue her in the classroom. Thanks. Butler. People are killed and oppressed behind the beliefs represented by those hats. Standing yeah. firm. She's been suspended from school and faces two counts of battery for allegedly slapping her teacher. You didn't have any plans to act out or do anything at the game? Nope. For Sully, I was, I was just staying out here, you know. Doing my thing. I talked to one student off camera tonight. She says she was excited to perform with the band, and she's disappointed this situation led up to the game being canceled. If they had a good reason for it, they should have canceled it, but like if there was nothing like too major, they shouldn't have. School resource officers investigated and found no evidence backing up the threats. Caden Bees is a freshman football player at Ponderosa and says he can only imagine the disappointment the players must be feeling. We wouldn't be happy at all. We'd probably, our coach would probably make us go back and practice for the rest of the day. Butler just wants the school to reconsider what it allows students to wear. All I'm saying is no symbols of hate, speech, or racism should be allowed in classrooms. An El Dorado County Sheriff's Office says they are not aware of any specific threats to the community or the school, just rumors that got tonight's game canceled. Investigators continue to look into this. Macy Jenkins live in El Dorado County tonight. Macy, thank you.